Meanwhile, the secret garden of Kofi and Nala's love bore fruit, as Nala discovered she was pregnant. In the heart of Africa, nestled among vast landscapes and vibrant wildlife, lies a quaint village that time seems to have forgotten. Within this village lives Kofi, a diligent farmer whose hands, though roughened by the soil, are gentle enough to cradle life. Kofi's world revolves around his small, yet content, family. Asha, his wife, is a beacon of strength and grace, embodying the spirit of their ancestral land. Together, they've recently welcomed a new soul into their world, their son, Swami. Swami, a bundle of joy, has brought an unparalleled sense of fulfillment and happiness into their lives. Their home, a humble abode made from the earth itself, stands as a testament to the simplicity and beauty of their existence. Each morning, as the village awakens to the chorus of the natural world, Kofi and Asha share smiles that speak of deep gratitude and love, not just for each other, but for the life they've built. Just a stone's throw from Kofi's hut, under the shadow of an ancient baobab tree, lives Nala. Once a vibrant soul, Nala now carries the weight of the world on her shoulders. Widowed, she is a testament to resilience, battling the dual demons of poverty and loneliness that have been her companions since her husband's untimely departure to the ancestors. Her home, a modest structure, echoes the emptiness that has crept into her life, serving as a constant reminder of the joy that once filled its corners. In this community, where every heart beats as one, Kofi's kindness shines like a beacon in the night. Despite his modest means, Kofi embodies the village's unwritten law of Ubuntu, I am because we are. With a heart as fertile as the land he cultivates, Kofi quietly steps in to ease Nala's burden. His acts of compassion are as simple as they are profound, from leaving baskets of fresh harvest at her door to repairing the thatch on her roof, all done under the cloak of anonymity. Kofi seeks no praise or acknowledgement, for in his heart, aiding Nala is not charity, but a duty to humanity and the bonds that tie their lives together. As the seasons changed, so did the nature of the bond between Kofi and Nala. What began as a silent pact of kindness slowly blossomed into a profound connection, nurtured by shared moments and mutual respect. Kofi's visits to Nala's home became more frequent, initially under the guise of offering help or sharing the bounty of his harvest. However, it was the conversations that flowed freely between them, rich with the wisdom of life and the shared experiences of their village that sowed the seeds of something deeper. With each visit, Kofi and Nala discovered in each other a kindred spirit. Laughter filled Nala's home once more, chasing away the shadows of solitude. Kofi, for his part, found in Nala a tranquility and understanding that complemented the joy he found in his own family. Their relationship, tender and respectful, slowly transcended the bounds of friendship, evolving into a love that neither had sought but both cherished. This love, however, was not without its complexities. Kofi's commitment to Asha and their son remained unwavering, casting a shadow of guilt over his growing feelings for Nala. Amidst the soft glow of the setting sun, casting long shadows over Nala's humble dwelling, a moment of vulnerability unfolded between Kofi and Nala. Their usual ease gave way to a tense silence, filled with unspoken questions and fears. It was Nala who broke the silence, her voice barely a whisper, carrying the weight of unshed tears and a heart torn between hope and realism. Kofi, she began, her gaze locked onto the woven patterns of her mat. What of Asha? What will her heart say when the wind carries tales of us? Kofi, a man of the earth, whose hands were used to tilling soil and sowing seeds, found himself fumbling for words that could soothe without deceiving. He took a deep breath, the air heavy with the scent of impending rain, and met Nala's eyes, a storm of emotions brewing in his own. Nala, he replied, his voice steady yet tinged with the pain of his internal conflict. Asha is my sun and my moon, 
the mother of my child. But the heart, it seems, is a vast land, capable of housing more than one sun, more than one moon. He paused, searching Nala's face for understanding, for forgiveness. I do not have the answers you seek. I only know that in this moment, the truth of my feelings for you shines as brightly as the stars that will soon blanket the sky. I am torn, Nala, torn between duty and the whispers of a heart that refuses to be silent. Their conversation, a delicate dance between hope and reality, left their hearts exposed, revealing the depth of their connection, but also the complexity of their situation. In the silence that followed, both understood that their journey together was a path strewn with roses and thorns, promising both joy and pain. Under the canopy of stars, in a world where the night whispered of ancient times, Kofi and Nala found solace in each other's presence. The gravity of Nala's question lingered in the air, a testament to the tangled emotions that bound them. Kofi, with a heart heavy with love and fear, finally broke the silence that had settled between them. Asha is the dawn of my life, he confessed, his voice laden with the weight of his words. But what has grown between us, Nala? It's like the river that refuses to be ignored. I fear for her heart, as I fear for ours. The decision to marry, cloaked in the secrecy of night, was born from a love that refused to be contained. Kofi and Nala, standing at the edge of a precipice, chose to leap hand in hand. We belong to the earth and to the traditions that have guided us, Kofi whispered, his resolve strengthening. But we also belong to the truths of our hearts. Let's promise ourselves to each other under the watchful gaze of the ancestors, hidden from the eyes of the world. Under the velvet cloak of night, Kofi and Nala, bound by a love both profound and complex, chose to cement their union in secrecy. Their marriage, a ceremony whispered among the ancient trees, was marked not by the jubilance of community festivities, but by the quiet intensity of their commitment to one another. The first night they spent as husband and wife was a testament to their bond, a gentle collision of souls seeking solace and completeness in each other's arms. As the days unfolded into weeks, the rhythm of village life continued, but subtle changes began to ripple through the fabric of their daily existence. Kofi's absences became more noticeable, his returns home later than the dusk. Asha, ever patient and understanding, couldn't help but sense the shift. Her heart, heavy with worry, feared for Kofi. Perhaps the fields demanded more of him, she reasoned, trying to quell the growing unease within her. Meanwhile, the secret garden of Kofi and Nala's love bore fruit, as Nala discovered she was pregnant. The joy of expecting their daughter Nia was a light in their lives, yet it cast a shadow of impending complexity. The birth of Nia was a moment of pure bliss, intertwining Nala and Kofi's lives even more deeply. However, it also ushered in a silent storm of emotions, happiness shadowed by the anxiety of the secret they now shared. Nia's arrival marked a new chapter, one filled with the laughter of a child, but also with the unspoken acknowledgement of the intricate web of relationships and responsibilities that Kofi now found himself entangled in. The happiness of new life was tinged with the worry of the future as they navigated the joyous yet complicated reality they had woven. In the heart of the village, where life thrived amidst the song of the earth and the whispers of the wind, Nia and Swami, unbeknownst to them, half-siblings, grew under the same sun, their lives intertwined like the roots of the baobab tree. Their homes, mere steps apart, became the backdrop of a childhood filled with laughter and companionship. Nia, with her spirited gaze, and Swami, with his boundless curiosity, found in each other not just a friend, but a reflection of their own souls. As they played under the vast African sky, their games often led them to the fields where Kofi worked. Amidst the golden harvest, Nia's laughter mingled with the breeze, capturing Kofi's heart with a bittersweet joy. He watched over them, a silent guardian whose presence was as constant as the northern star. With each passing year, 
as the seasons embroidered the landscape with a tapestry of life. Nia and Swami's bond deepened, their innocence shielding them from the complexities of the world around them. Time, ever relentless, turned them from children into young adults, their individual paths illuminated by the shared light of their friendship. Daily meetings by the river, where they once splashed in the shallows, now became moments of quiet conversation, their words painting dreams of the future. It was during these years, in the transition from childhood to adolescence, that their feelings for each other blossomed into love. A love as natural as the rain nourishing the earth, but as forbidden as the hidden truths that lay beneath their family's histories. Kofi and Nala, now bound by the secret of their past and the reality of their present, watched with a growing sense of alarm as their children's relationship evolved. The love that Nia and Swami shared, pure and untainted by the shadows of their parents' decisions, became a mirror reflecting back the complexity of their own choices. The discussions between Kofi and Nala, once filled with the hope of keeping their secret, now turned to concern and the potential consequences their children faced. As the realization of Naya and Swami's love dawned upon Kofi and Nala, the air between them was thick with a mix of fear and déjà vu. One evening, as the sun dipped below the horizon, painting the sky with shades of orange and purple, Kofi sought out Swami, his heart heavy with words that felt like stones. Swami, my son, Kofi began, his voice laced with a tenderness that belied the gravity of their conversation. There are things in this world, heavy and complex, that sometimes we must face. Your bond with Nia, it's a beautiful thing, but it's woven with threads too complicated for you to understand now. Swami, with the fire of youth in his eyes, replied, But father, what wrong is there in love, in caring for someone so deeply? Kofi sighed, a sound that seemed to carry the weight of unshed tears. It's not the love, but the roots of our past that entangle us. I ask you, not as a command, but with a heart that knows the pain of loss and love to step back from Nia. For now, for the peace of our families. Meanwhile, Nala, with a similar dread knotting her stomach, sat down with Nia. Her voice was a soft whisper, as if afraid to shatter the fragile moment. Nia, my child, life has a way of weaving stories that sometimes we can't foresee. Your connection with Swami, it's something that needs time, needs space. Nia, her spirit as indomitable as the wind, responded, But why, mother? If we care for each other, why must we hide? Why must love be so burdened? Nala, her eyes mirroring the sorrow of moons gone by, shared, There are stories, deep and old, that we're a part of, stories that bind us in ways we didn't choose. It's not about hiding, my dear, but about understanding the soil from which we've grown. These conversations, heart-rending in their necessity, marked a turning point. Kofi and Nala, in their own way, tried to bridge the chasm between protecting their children and allowing them the freedom to love. Yet, the seeds of truth, once sown, have a way of breaking through the hardest ground, pushing towards the light. The request to pause their meetings, though met with confusion and a sense of injustice by Naya and Swami, planted the first notes of discord in the symphony of their love, hinting at the storms that lay on the horizon. The decision to prohibit Nia and Swami's relationship was one born of fear. Fear of the truth unraveling and the world they knew falling apart. Yet just as the roots of the baobab tree find their way through the earth, so too did Nia and Swami's love find a way to defy the constraints placed upon it. In the quietude of the night, beneath the same stars that had witnessed their parents' vows, they pledged themselves to each other, their secret marriage a testament to the enduring power of love. This decision, made with the naivety of youth but the conviction of true emotion, set them on a path fraught with challenges. Kofi and Nala, reflecting on their own past, found themselves facing the mirror of their actions, the repercussions of which now echoed in the lives of their children. 
the fabric of their families, carefully woven over the years, began to strain under the weight of secrets and the undeniable truth that love, in all its forms, cannot be contained. As the days melded into months, Nia and Swami's love, rather than dimming under the shadow of their parents' concerns, only grew more profound. It was an unspoken melody that resonated between them, a force as natural and unstoppable as the river that coursed through their village. However, this growing bond did not go unnoticed. Kofi and Nala, their hearts burdened with worry, could see the writing on the wall, a message as clear as day, yet as complex as the patterns of the stars. The day came when Swami, his heart brimming with emotion, decided to open up to Kofi. His voice, filled with hope and conviction, broke the silence of dawn. Father, my love for Nia, it's the truth of my heart. I wish to marry her, to build a life with her. Kofi's reaction was swift, a tempest of anger and fear. Marry? No, Swami, that path is closed, tangled in ways you can't fathom. This cannot be, he asserted, his words cutting through the air like a blade, severing the moment into before and after. Simultaneously, Nia, with a soul as brave as the warriors of old, shared her feelings with Nala. Mother, Swami is my heart's choice, my future. Nala's response mirrored Kofi's in its intensity. Nia, this love, it's a journey you cannot embark on. It's woven with complexities far beyond our control, she implored, her voice a mixture of desperation and sorrow. The revelation of their children's love plunged Kofi and Nala into a state of heightened worry. The fabric of their families, already delicate, seemed on the brink of unravelling. Nights were spent in hushed conversations, their minds racing for a solution, a way to navigate the turbulent waters their lives had become. In this maelstrom of emotions, the heartache was palpable, a tangible presence that filled their homes with the heavy scent of impending change. Kofi and Nala, bound by a secret that had once seemed like salvation, now faced the reality of its consequences. The truth of their past, a spectre that had lingered in the shadows, was inching ever closer to the light, threatening to expose the intricate web of lies and love that had bound their families together. In a moment heavy with the weight of unspoken truths and the shadow of impending revelations, Kofi found himself at a crossroads. The love between Nia and Swami, pure yet entangled in the complexities of their family secret, forced Kofi's hand. With the heart burdened by the years of silence, he made a decision that would alter the course of their lives forever. Kofi knew it was time to unveil the veil of secrecy that had shrouded their families for too long. One evening, as the sun dipped below the horizon, casting long shadows across the village, Kofi gathered his courage like a warrior preparing for battle. With Asha and Swami by his side, he made his way to Nala's home. The air was thick with anticipation, each step echoing with the weight of the decisions that led them to this moment. Standing before Nala, with both families assembled like pieces of a puzzle about to be made whole, Kofi's voice trembled with emotion. There are truths in our hearts, he began, that we've hidden in the shadows, afraid of the light they might cast. But the time has come to bring them into the open. He paused, gathering strength from the faces around him. Nala and I, we share a bond beyond friendship. We are married, united in secret, out of a love that we could not deny. The silence that followed was deafening, a moment suspended in time as Asha, Swami and Nia processed the gravity of Kofi's words. Shock etched across their faces, a mirror to the myriad emotions swirling within them. Kofi's next words were a plea, a whisper of hope amidst the storm of revelations. I seek your forgiveness for the pain my decisions may cause, but know this, my heart's intention was never to harm but to protect what I cherish most. Asha, her heart a battleground of emotions, faced Kofi. The hurt was evident in her eyes, but so too was the love that had been the foundation of their life together. In the end, it was love that guided her response. 
with a nod, silent yet profound. She extended her forgiveness, a testament to the strength of her spirit. Swami and Nia, their world turned upside down, found solace in each other's presence. The revelation, while shocking, forged a new understanding between them. They saw their parents not as figures of authority, but as human beings, flawed and complex, guided by the heart's mysterious ways. In this crucible of truth, forgiveness emerged as a beacon that would guide them through the darkness. Asha's embrace of Kofi, Swami, and Naya's acceptance of their intertwined destinies spoke volumes of the power of love, understanding, and the resilience of the human spirit. In the end, it was not the revelation that defined them, but their response to it, a tapestry of forgiveness, shock, and acceptance woven together by the threads of unconditional love. In the aftermath of revelation, each character embarked on a journey of healing and acceptance. Swami and Nia, their love once entwined with romantic dreams, gradually transformed their bond into one of deep, enduring sibling love. This transition, though fraught with challenges, became a testament to their resilience and the unbreakable ties that connect them. As the seasons passed, the wounds inflicted by years of secrets and lies began to mend. The family, once divided by hidden truths, found strength in their newfound openness. United by the lessons of the past, they discovered a closer, more profound connection, a silver lining in the storm that had threatened to tear them apart. The moral of their story echoes the timeless virtues of honesty, the intricate dance of human emotions, and the redemptive power of forgiveness. It serves as a reminder that while the truth may be painful, its revelation paves the way for healing. Time, with its gentle passage, offers solace and renewal, allowing love and understanding to flourish in the rich soil of open hearts. Viewers, I hope you enjoyed this story, if so, then like the video and don't forget to subscribe our channel for more amazing stuff like this.